Welcome to African News Roundup. My name is Lucy. Starting off this segment, the long-awaited results of the Kenya elections, which kept all the citizens under pressure, have finally been revealed. William Ruto has secured victory over his opponent, Ralea Odenga, but some parties have come out to rule out the election as null and void, one of which is his opponent, none other than Ralea Rodinga, who said he's going to challenge them to court. Now my question is, why is he challenging Ruto to court? Is he saying that the electoral board was wrong? Or did he pay someone to rig the elections because the confidence he had was just too certain that he was going to win? Meanwhile, in Tunisia, a new constitution has been passed granting the president more powers. Contrary to the reactions expected from people, voters overwhelmingly approved the new constitution. Now, in as much as power has been handed to the president, would he be able to do the job with the power vested in him? Would the country's high inflation, unemployment rates, political turmoil be improved? How certain will this constitution be put in place? Finally, in Nigeria, the federal government and national president of ASU have met in order to discuss the situation of reopening of schools as the strike enters 183 days. As it stands, the government has still not made effort to discuss their decision with the union executives, reaching a dead end. Now, all the proposals of the union were rejected by the federal government. How will the issue be resolved? How long will the government turn a blind eye to the proposal of the union? It's very clear that most of their children are not even affected by this at all. So why inflict pain on people who are not able to have a form of education outside the country? Unfortunately, it's not clear when schools will be reopening. That's all I have for you on African News Roundup. Until next time, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.